I'm kind of hoping I got some non-Christmas stuff I can peruse through. Oh, look what somebody did. That's not too shabby. Let me see if I can see a name underneath there. Ooh, that's pretty. This guy is Sensi. Oh my goodness. Bye. Those are some fancy, but if I could wear heels, I would wear those because those are <laughs> actually, I like them. Don't get distracted, Danny. Don't get distracted. Oh my gosh. And then look at the snowman with those big old Google eyes. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. I am back shopping in Las Vegas, and this is something I have been wanting to do for a while, is to go to the Deja Blue Boutique store on a Tuesday morning right when they open because it's the first day of a new 50% off tag color. So it's gonna be a little bit of an experiment to see how many things go to that 50% off. Because the last time I was here, I found several things on like one of the last days of the week where it was 50% off, which tells me this doesn't get shopped as much as some of the regular stores. So this could be a really good reseller mecca opportunity, shall we say. All right, we're going to go in here. We're going to see what goodies we can find for 50% off. And uh, we're going to get shop done. All right, this is their lucky carts here. Oh, yes. And uh, they are doing Christmas in July as well. I'll look over at this table. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right. <laughs> Mike wasn't cooperating. Let's see what we've got in the Christmas in July. These are really nice. Very, very heavy, these deer are. I kind of like them. I do a little bit of a deer theme when I'm decorating my own Christmas. So we'll keep an eye on these. These are black tags, so they'll be at full price for a while. Except on Wednesdays when they would be 40% off. Yes, Christmas in July is in full swing now. That's not really Christmas. I guess it's an ornament. Ornament bell. It's a Rosenthal on that one. Pretty, pretty. Everything's up on top of their displays here. Got holiday Barbie. Oh yeah, they got all the Christmas stuff up. Look at these big sheep. They are chalkware. They're nativity pieces. $12.99. They're kind of nice, but I have to be disciplined today. I know I get laughed at when I say that. There are different degrees of discipline that I do, and I'm trying to get better, but for reals now. I am less than a month away from moving, so everything I buy now has to be processed very quickly. I have to move things through very quickly and I have to not add any work load to what I already have. So that's in my brain as I'm shopping because I li <laughs> he's broken. I really like these, but they're not practical. They're not practical to buy and store for any amount of time. I'm kind of hoping I got some non-Christmas stuff I can peruse through. Oh, look what somebody did. Okay, they took they took these dollar store mushrooms and added some uh, gnome faces on them. And it's $12.99 for the set. That's pretty funny. Does that give anybody ideas? Oh, I don't think we're going to end up with much if there is mostly Christmas. Because I'm veering away from Christmas. Then you've got red tag. That's a really nice piece of milk glass. I do. I do like that. It looks like lettuce leaves or grape leaves. Actually, those look like grape leaves. How do I know that? It's because tortoises really love grapes. Yeah, and then there's little grapes on the finials. This is a Peanuts whirl around. $9.99. I guess, oh, I guess he just whirls around. He just whirls. I do love some bottle brush trees. Will these light up? Little fiber optic ones. Nope. Resist it, Danny. Resist it. Let's go here. I like the little stand here. $14.99. That 
That's a pretty piece of glass. Recycled glass. It's 10 bucks. We'll just have to wait for blue to go on sale. Cute little poker sign. So, so far, I am not finding the purple tags which are on sale. Probably because they cleared a lot of stuff. Maybe sent it to the bins or regular stores to make room for their Christmas. So it could have changed things up a little bit. But look at that mirror. Got some sea glass and shells all put on there. That's pretty. That's an interesting piece. It's not signed. I was really hoping that would be signed. It's got some Asian characters in here. That's really really quite I might do a Google search on that one I couldn't find it $12.99 there's something in my gut telling me this could be a good piece but I would have to sell it for mmm $35 $40 minimum to really make spending that much make sense and I just I just don't know I just don't know let me know if I'm making a mistake leaving this behind there's a little jade tree for $9.99. It's just a little guy though. Yeah, they have a lot of the kind of home goods looking type things here. That's, that's the vibe they're going for in this store. And they do a good job of it. I mean, it's a very pleasant store to shop. Don't know how I feel about him. Well, I do know how I feel about him hunting a, is it a moose? Or an elk. Looks like a moose. Leave him alone, buddy. I hope you're a bad shot. Ooh. Something tells me Noah would like this tree here. It's got li it's little stones. You know what? That's uh that's only fifteen dollars. And I love this, so it's coming with me. I left a piece of art at a store before and I didn't realize how much Noah would like it. He was like, Mom, why didn't you get that? So, this time that had Noah vibe on it. So he's going to get first dibs. Leaf plates. Oh, they're just food network. Kind of cool. But I'm not going to get them. Not going to get those. Back here in the clocks. I know you guys really liked the uh, clock section. But these are all new clocks. They're... Some of them are vintage inspired. I mean, that sunflower one is really fun. I could see myself putting that in my house. I could, I could see it. And I got some really nice art last time I was here too. So we're gonna take a look at that. All right, here's the art wall. There is not a purple tag to be found. So very interesting. My strategy, not working so good. Lots of green. Ooh, that one's really pretty. I really, really like that. It's one of those kind of a acrylic. Oh no, it's not. It's just a print that's behind a shiny plastic. Oh, there we go. I'm kind of an art snob. I don't want to put up anything like cheap like that. That's not my decorating style. So as much as I like it, I just won't. I won't put it on my wall. All right. See if anything new and exciting is over here in the kitchen wares hmm. oh there's a I call it baby Yoda I know that's not the right name but I like I like baby Yoda 10 bucks on that probably sells for 15 to 20 but I can't pay 10 and sell it for 15 to 20 those are not reseller margins oh, $10 $5 I would pay I would pay five so when it's on sale at 50% off, then that's reseller price. Got some glassware up here. Oh, candles. Nope, we don't want any candles. No candles. It's a little piece of carnival glass. Now I can generally get 25 to $30 for a nice piece of carnival glass. This is an older piece and you, they're not gonna be refined. They're not gonna be high quality. This was very mass marketed uh, glass back in the day and 
you'll see little bumps and imperfections. You'll see the seams. That's okay. That does not degrade the quality of the glass. I, I, you know what? I think I'll go ahead and pick this one up. It's kind of a cool pattern. Also because I am very much about preserving this old glass. He's 15. He was, he was here. Like, but I don't remember him being red tagged the last time I was here. I guess he might have been. Oh, another nice little piece of glass. It's blue. What does that say in there? It says Colorado. That is the pattern. Yep. I'm just trying to figure out if that's the original sticker that is on there or if like uh, somebody at an antique mall put that on there. You know what? We'll go ahead and rescue that one too. And I may not have quite as high of margins as I'm used to on those pieces, but I actually know they will flip very quickly, like in one of my next whatnot sales. Got some, oh, they're candle holder doves. Rachel would like those, but she's got a lot of packing to do already. Cute little teapots. The, what do they call these when they're like the, the like solo, solo teapot? Cause it's got the cup and the teapot even got the little saucer under there. Those are really cute. The set is 15. That's actually not, that's not too shabby. Let me see if I can see a name underneath there. Just a barcode over the name, but it was $30 when it was new. It would be $7.50 each. And then what I do is I compute in my mind, well, what do I think I could get for this quickly? Probably 15 to 20. So that's not quite enough for me to uh, go for those. Noah's not into this kind of race car, but that's actually a really nice one. I know there's like a good market out there for these die casts. It's 15. I don't know if that's a really good price or not. Maybe Noah will pop something on the screen and tell us. It's kind of caught my eye. It's got a nice look, but it's just made in China. I don't see anything here. She's nice. Oh, she's heavy. Who, who makes you? She's got a sticker, but it's really scratched out and faded. She's 20 bucks. I don't think I can do $20 on you, honey, but when you go half price, if you're still here, then I would pick you up. I sell a lot of these dresser trays, but I usually sell them for anywhere between $20 and $30. So 10 is a little more than I can do. And this one I can tell is not an old one. Just the way it's constructed, the way it feels, it's a, re it's a reproduction. Let's ever do that. Or like, you know, the word that's supposed to come out of your mouth, but it just doesn't come out of your mouth. Willow tree, she's 10. That one's 10, that's really sweet little willow tree trinket box soapstone nice little dolphin I have not seen one single purple tag and today is the first day so I just don't even know what's going on there luxury soy aromatherapy candle set ooh that's pretty 20 bucks it's interesting. I think it's kind of a production piece though. Not old. Oh, I thought these were marble. They are not. They are resin. All right, let's see. Where have I not looked? Sooner glass. I really just don't pick this up. I know a lot of people do and a lot of people like to buy it, but I just don't like to ship it. I, I got an aversion to the to the Sooner Glass Swans. Have a nice look to them. Have I been over here yet? No, no, I don't think I have. These are nice. Just simple nice. They do have a little label stickery on there, which it's faded again. It's faded. They were somebody. That's interesting. Very uh, kind of Bombay looking. Sagebrook Home. 15 on that. 
Got some apples. I have a feeling that uh, they may have retagged a bunch of the purples. I just have that feeling. I think I remember those apples being here the last time I was here. And the date on those says they just came out yesterday. So there is that. And it's kind of cool. And that's a nice little family there, but nothing too exciting. Oh, goodness, good. Oh, that old thing over there is still pulling me. It's still calling to me. I may end up with it. I don't know. There's something intriguing about it. Oh, he's kind of a cute little clown, this one is. You're a leftin' too. $9.99. I see some amethyst glass, a little pitcher, $9.99. It's nice, it's not super old or anything. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave that one. Here's a vintage piece of glass, but these were pretty mass produced, so they don't have a lot of resale value because there's a lot of them out there. And a lot of times that's just what determines the resale value is how many are on the market. Okay, what Minnie Mouse are you? What kind of fun colors? Main attraction, limited release, $12.99. All right, let's stick her back up there. Somebody will find you, Minnie. Ah, I see a dragonfly. That Now, I have a um, bird bath that's of this same design, and I'm wondering if this is meant to be like a small bird bath. It is $14.99, so we're going to leave that one. We got some more dolphins. Who makes you Crystal de Arcs? And then find these a lot. A Yadro placard. Oh, I see a horsey. Again, she has so much to pack already. He's kind of nice though. He's got something underneath there. Hmm. It's kind of a nice horsey for $12.99. I can't leave him behind. Oh, it's a nice little piece of cut glass. Probably 70s, 80s cut glass. And that's just something you feel it over time. You just learn after feeling enough of it. This guy is Sensi. Oh my goodness. All right, I need to look up what this one goes for. They're asking $14.99 on him. Here, time me. Well, they have sold for as much as 35 but there's only one recent sold for $23 and it had its box. So what were they asking? Yeah, $14.99. Can't do it, but he is super nice. Oh, he's called the Black Knight. Got some penguins. I have actually sold these before. It's funny how you're attracted to some of the same things that you've sold in the past. Your eye just goes there. Pretty glass fish. I just kind of know I'm like not even picking stuff up really unless it's super cool because I know their prices are really going to be about at that $9.99. You know, it is really, really pretty, but it's not anything super special. Maybe they put the purple tags over on this side of the room. Maybe. I'm not. I'm thinking no. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm not going to see any. That's probably Mikasa. It's pretty with the frosted tulips. These little propellers are really cute little decorations, but that's all they are. They're just decorations for $8 and $10. I mean, that's not bad. That's not a bad price at all. But for resale, I don't think they have a whole lot of value. Bye. Those are some fancy, but if I could wear heels, I would wear those because those are actually, I like them. I mean, I wouldn't wear them in the summer. Like it was already 94 degrees at nine o'clock this morning. What are you? You look so comfy. 30 bucks. Nope. Don't get distracted, Danny. Don't get distracted. This is a piece of fused glass. I'm looking for a name somewhere. I don't see one. It's and again, it's almost like that dragonfly, a cheaper, I don't even think it is fused. It's painted. Okay, it fooled me. 
Nope, it's that same kind of uh, cheaply made, made to be like a bird bath bowl type thing. Shell balls? Not one single purple tag. Oh, that would be cute. Put like all your little coffee accoutrements in. We're going to have to set up a nice space for Noah now that we're all back in the same kitchen. He's kind of had it good having his own kitchen, making his own mess. Mom didn't even have to worry about it. But now we're back to uh, being all in the same house. I do this a lot at the store. I just leave my cart over far away from me. And sometimes they grab it like thinking it's abandoned. So I need to go back and get that after I see what these dishes are. Oh, they're little spode Christmas tree dishes. I got my cart. I'll go back. There's no real like order. I, I, ha I have trouble remembering where I've been in this store. I kind of like these uh, wood, wood fruits. Let's see, $30 for the basket and the fruits. These are kind of nice, but yeah, I don't need those. Striped curtain vines. This is a nice box. It reminds me of the one that I bought on my, um, Lake Tahoe road trip. It's a Pier 1. Yes, it is. $7.99. We're going to grab that. Nice little seltzer looking bottle decor for $10. Right next to an older etched uh, ice bucket. Really pretty. All right. I've already been over there. I'll go back to the purses in a bit. Another piece of recycled glass. You can tell they're recycled because it kind of has that swirly kind of mix of color in it. Some people really, really like it and collect it. An UGG. I saw UGG. I had to see what that was. It's the care kit. Make sure you made in Italy. Hand painted. It's cute, but it's $10. All right, back into war. Christmas! More Christmas! I just don't even want to look at Christmas yet. <laughs> and my store just did. I, we just put out all the Christmas too. We're in the Christmas in July mode too, so I have to look at it for a while. That's cute. Newer. $7.99. Alright, we're gonna leave that. Oh my gosh, he's kind of a fun guy. Look at that face. Who makes you? You're a Hannah's Handworks. How cute. Handiwork, sorry. Oh my gosh. And then look at the snowman with those big old Google eyes. No, Danny. No, 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 no. You can't. You have to leave them. All right. Let's see if there's any jewelry that we need today. At least jewelry is really, really easy to deal with. Oh yeah, I gotta go back to the purses still too. I almost forgot. Oh, I like that malachite pendant. It's ten dollars though. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I mean, I do get twenty percent off. I don't really talk about that a whole lot because, again, I want everybody to make their um, pricing decisions. You know, based on a base price. That twenty percent is kind of my cushion. It's my it's my error cushion. Um, so I buy based on the ticket price and that keeps me pretty safe. I'm trying to figure out which piece has the purple tag because I finally found one with a purple tag. Mm. I don't see any of that though that I would want to pay $7.50 for. I could be wrong. I'll see what Dawn of Hudson Vintage says. She's my jewelry expert go-to person. If you haven't checked out her channel, you totally should if you want to learn how to pick out jewelry because she's phenomenal. I have learned so much from her. All right, they usually have some really nice purses. The problem is that, you know, they have them priced as really nice purses. So I generally don't find too great of a deal unless it is one of the tags that is half price. So that's what I kind of zone in on. I'm looking for purple tags but I don't have a lot of high hopes since there's not really any purple tags in the store. That's a fossil. 
blue, blue tag. I like the colors of that one. It's a Rosetti, but if I was a purse girl, that would I would find that attractive. I would, oh, I see a purple tag. I would probably carry that purse. So it'd be $7.50. It's a Liz Claiborne. Mm, it's not super exciting. Probably why it's still here, huh? Love and joy. Brighton. How much is the Brighton? Where's your tag? You don't have a tag. How much are you, little Brighton? Mm, it's got some wear and tear to the corner. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Oh, is that a Brahm? Nope, it's an MK. Made to look like the Brahmas. You're kind of cool. <clears throat> Michael Kors is a good name. 40 bucks. Yep. See, they know what they got here. They know what they got. And that one's not going 50% anytime soon because it's red tag. Listen, I get it. I have a store. I know how you have to do this pricing. I'm not, I'm not knocking it. I'm just explaining that it doesn't work for me to resale it. So more power to them. That's a pretty cool purse for 20 bucks with the horse on it. Very nice. Shoes. And last little section of purses. Oh, that's got a nice, nice feel to it. Who are you? This is also how you can get to know the different brands of purses too. It's oh it's a it's a Tiganello. Yep, it's a good it's a good brand. Oh, there's that Betsy. Oh, you're red tagged. I was hoping you'd be purple. So this just happened. The color is actually blue. They just hadn't turned the sign yet. So I went back and I got the hourglass for $5. I found Rachel two more horses. These are green tag, but these are for Rachel. So they are vintage. Um, this one is a Vega International. And this one's marked with his little Made in Japan sticker. I got the wood fish that I didn't see the first time around. I got him for four dollars. I'm picking up the little coffee bar thing to put in our new house and then yep I'm ending up with this guy for six fifty. I think I'm gonna head out. I've got to get to the store because I'm holding interviews today. We are hiring an e-commerce manager. What that means is Danny's gonna be ramping up her, her buying and selling game. Uh, we're going to be back on eBay in full swing and there's a super exciting development coming with our very own website. Yes. So it's a work in progress. So stay tuned for more information for when that's going to happen. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I need to get to the store because I'm hiring somebody to help me manage that whole new avenue of reselling. All right. With that, stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought how much I paid and how much it's worth. That's coming up right now. something that was so funny I mean I guess it 
it probably saved me a lot of money and stuff. Not really, because I went back through and went and found a few blue tags, including that picture that I really, really wanted. So, uh, I got the picture. Well, you saw, I got the picture. I got the little coffee bar for Noah. I found a couple more horses for Rachel. I'm just gonna straight pack them up and they're gonna be like a little housewarming gift for her. She's not even gonna know about them until we get to the new house. Uh, what else? Oh, and I found a purse. I didn't even show in the last thing. I found a little purse, uh, the, uh, the blue, Nicole Miller was half price, so I got that too. I am super excited. So it is a good strategy to come to the Deja Blue Boutique on Tuesday mornings when they change over the color. Goodness. Uh, so I'm probably, probably going to do this a little bit more often. I don't know if I'll get here every week, but I'm going to get here a lot. All right. You go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.